An estimated 30% of the UK's total CO2 emissions is caused by domestic housing. Much is simply the result of heat lost through roofs, windows and walls. Installing cavity wall and loft insulation makes a difference, but negotiating the variety of government subsidies and organising installations puts most people off. In Cumbria, there's now a successful formula to streamline the system and deliver results. It's lunchtime in Carlisle, and these shoppers are about to get a basic lesson in energy efficiency. I'm a sad house, I've got no insulation. I'm a happy house because I'm saving energy. It's part of an ongoing campaign by SEAC, the Cumbria Energy Efficiency Advice Centre, to spread the word about domestic energy saving. Today they're giving out free reflective radiator panels, but the real aim is face-to-face -face contact with people who may benefit from installing more effective measures in their houses. I think awareness is really high. Um, you can't turn on the television, the radio, open a newspaper without climate change being discussed. Um, the, the problem is people don't know where to come to access the measures. And so what we find is that what, they're given us a, a call, they can come to us, we can tell them which is the best deal and how easy it is to access it. And that's why they want a bit of comfort, they want to know that where they're going is the right place and the best deal. SEAC has been working for 10 years in Cumbria. It provides help to a range of householders, from pensioners to private landlords, by keeping track of new funding schemes. In a single phone call, SEAC can usually assess an applicant's needs and match them with the best deal. No problem. What's your name, please? At the end of the call, an appointment is made for a home survey with an advisor. I mean, obviously, you don't want single glazed windows, yeah. so these yeah. need to be changed. Do you know how much loft insulation you've got in at present? Roughly about that much. Right, you've probably got about four inches. It's an opportunity to give advice about day-to-day -day energy saving, suggest alternative improvements and to make sure the installation they want is the right one for the property. We do get a very good reaction from the vast majority of the public because once upon a time the, the way we would approach people is just by saying you can save money on your fuel bills. But now there's a real switch to people being concerned about climate change and also their impact and their carbon footprint. It may not seem green, but this is the front line in the fight to reduce carbon emissions. About one third of heat lost from an uninsulated building escapes through the walls. Installing cavity wall insulation in a house like this takes just a couple of hours and costs householders at most £99. The result? Decades of reduced fuel bills and a saving of about one tonne of carbon dioxide per year. Pensioner William Mitchell had his walls insulated last year. He's on a fixed income and needs to keep careful track of his bills. Since I've had the cavity wall insulation and loft insulation, the house seems more comfortable uh, and warmer at a lower thermostat setting. And I take regular energy readings myself and I can prove I've done quite a substantial saving. But it's not just about saving money. I've got a, the feel-good factor c comes in where uh, I feel as I'm doing my bit for saving the environment. See. Much of SEAC's work comes through referrals from satisfied customers. I was just ringing about some home energy advice. I've got a friend who had some loft insulation uh, given to her. I just wondered if we may be qualified. They've worked closely with their contractors to develop a professional standard of service, as Keith and Sarah Blakey found out last winter. All we've seen was a mini waterfall just cascading, and this was just two inches of water literally everywhere. Their boiler had burst, leaving them with no hot water for six and a half months, and the installers wouldn't help. They had no heating at all and had to boil kettles to wash. In desperation, they called SEAC. On the phone call in the, on a Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, these people were in our house, which to us was a shock. By Friday tea time, they'd installed the full system in no, our house. They were brilliant. We were just in shock, because it, it, it's not done this day and age. It was an absolute joy, and well, there was a queue to jump in the bath. Everybody was queuing <laughs> up, it was really funny. We were taping our tops off because we were that warm with the heating in the house. <laughs> SEAC has also provided renewable systems, air source heat pumps and solar water heating and it's developed new distribution systems to increase uptake, like door-to-door -door delivery of DIY loft insulation kits. Altogether, they've improved the homes of about 10% of Cumbria's population, 
but targeting the 90% which are harder to reach needs a new approach. What we want to do is we want a mobile unit that we can take anywhere in the county, no matter how remote. It's a trailer, it links up onto a, a transit van, you turtle off into the countryside, you pull up in a lay-by, open it out and hey presto, you've got a couple of energy advisors on that van, we can talk to people. If it's somewhere that's really quite small, just a hamlet, we can pack up and off we go on to the next one. Really simple.